Hi, it's Linda. I'm going to be doing a film strip effect today. Um, I do a lot of stuff in Photoshop and there's uh, some things that I can do on PowerPoint but then there's other things that either you can't do in PowerPoint that you can do in Photoshop or some that I just haven't figured out how to do yet. But when I saw Stephanie's torn paper tutorial and I found out a way that you could subtract one shape from another it opened up a whole bunch of new possibilities for me and one of them is this effect. So I'm going to start by making the uh, film strip. So I'm going to draw a rectangle here and I'll tape, take the uh, shape outline off and I'll fill it with black and then I'm going to take the rounded rectangle and just make a little shape here. Now the, the reason that I'm doing it horizontally instead of vertically is because it's on the angle I want it to have the shapes go a little bit off and I found that if I saved this vertically it would cut off everything that was outside of the, the stage here. So I'll just take the shape out outline off and make that a little bit smaller and I'm just going to copy the shape right across the top. Okay so I've done all the the rounded rectangles across the top but now I'm going to align them so they're all evenly spaced. So I'll go into Arrange, Align and distribute horizontally. And that looks pretty good. And I'm just going to copy this for the opposite end. So that's the start of my film strip. I think I'm going to make this a little bit wider just so I have a bit more room to play. Okay, and then I'm going to select all of this there it goes. And I'm going to save as a picture. So I've already done this before so I'll just I'll make this film too and save that as a PNG. And I don't need this anymore so I can just delete that and then I can uh, insert the picture from the file and there it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'll go into um, the picture tools and I'll use the recolor, set transparent color and get rid of the blue. And now I can put a shadow on this like that and I'm going to to turn this. Okay, and then I'll bring in the pictures. So I'm just going to make this a little bit wider again. And I'm going to place my pictures. So I've got four photos here and I've made them all the same size. So I'm just going to place these Okay, so I want these to line up as well, so I'm going to select all the pictures and do arrange, align, and distribute vertically. And I'm just going to move these down a bit more. This one's a little bit tight, but I'll fix this up. So I'm running out of time here, so I just grouped it together and then rotated it a few degrees to the left. Now I'll take the background and I'm just going to, to change that to uh, a black and whiter screen. And I'm going to just copy the name on and that's how you make the film strip effect.